Hey Rock Bags, it's Jade. You may have seen me failing a lot in my Ashland stream today as the update went live for everyone. Or did it? No, it turns out it only went live for Steam. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed in Iron Gate just a little bit here. Basically, the trailer went live, I was really hyped, I did a re-upload of it and then I live streamed straight away, assuming that everything was all good and golden. But nothing actually put properly officially on their Twitter page, and apart from a few refreshes from some of the devs in Discord, Xbox fans have kind of been left in the dark a little bit. Basically, there are currently some issues with the Microsoft and Xbox versions of Valheim, which means there'll be a slight delay in getting the update properly uploaded there. However, the current version of Xbox Flight is the same as the version coming to live, so crossplay will still be possible between Xbox Flight and default Steam games. Yeah, not kind of what people want to hear. Like if you're going to put your trailer out and you're going to say Ashlands is out and you've had it in PTB for weeks, it's kind of really sucky not to have double double checked it went out live for Xbox. Surely you could have had a last minute delay on Steam as well maybe if the issues really were that bad on Xbox. It still isn't out hours later. Also, if you're wondering what the Xbox Flight is, it's called the Xbox Insider Hub. It's available for Windows 10, 11 stores and on the Xbox console series X and S. Hell, it's even available on Xbox One as well. You download it and you should find the test version of Valheim there. It'll pretty much have the same content that Steam has. So if you've been playing crossplay with your friends on Steam, if you don't want to wait any longer, you can go ahead, download this, install it, and it'll be exactly the same version. Your saves will carry over, so you don't need to leave it once you've joined. As soon as the update goes live for everyone, it should kind of revert. It doesn't give you a second save or second version of Valheim to play. It'll be the same version. Last, I think that's what usually happens with it. And then hopefully you can play. Since there's no word on when it's gonna actually be fixed, if it was a last minute issue, hopefully it will just be a hot fix. It'll arrive tomorrow, but you never know. It could be days, it could be another week. It doesn't happen often, so I'm not gonna be that harsh. I mean, it's great as well that Xbox has even considered getting the updates at the same time as Steam. There's a lot of games in the past like Ark and Conan Exiles that I've failed to do that like, for weeks on end. But yeah, it's taken off the shine a little bit. My comments are filled with angry people on Xbox wanting to play the update because they're hyped and excited about the animated trailer. There are obviously lots of patch notes. I'm not going to really go through them all because I've done that before. Nothing really has been added new though in terms of like the last maybe hotfix they had. The update that we had, I do believe, on Friday, that was the last one that fixed a lot of issues for the PTB. And so what you've got now is what you've got. I'm sure there'll be lots of hot fixes though from now. More people getting to play and any issues reported or balance changes. But hopefully you're going to be enjoying Ashlands as soon as possible if you're on Xbox. And yep, I'm going to start up. I've been waiting to carry on my adventures. Look out for some more Let's Play style videos for me and coming soon. I'll see you right back for more Valheim soon. Bye-bye.